back YouTube. We got another video on this turbo MR2. It's ignition coil. We're gonna put a new one because we're having an intermittent uh, starting issue and an intermittent running issue. So it could be the coil, it could be the fuel pump still, we don't know yet. So no big deal, ignition coil time. Here is the part number for the ignition coil you're gonna need for the turbo MR2. All right, so to find the ignition coil, if you don't know where it is, it's gonna be the center plug here on the distributor. And you follow that cord, and so it's pretty much, here's the fuse box, it's directly below the fuse box. To get the fuse box out, you need to take that 10 millimeter out. There's a 10 millimeter that goes through here into this hole. And then there's a little push clip here. You pull this little tab, and then you can pull it off of this red tab there. So you have to hold this and pull up at the same time, and that lets you get the fuse box out of the way. To get these relays out of your way, so that you can get in there better, there's one 10 millimeter bolt here, and then you have one on the other side. Right there. Now we're gonna just sort of slide this out of the way and then fold over the fuse box here and you're gonna have a buddy hold it so you can get down to those 10 millimeters. When you get the fuse box out of the way, you're just gonna take out those two bolts right there and right there and then the coil is mounted to that so you have easy access. So the passenger side of the coil has a notch, so you don't have to take that bolt all the way out, you just have to loosen it. Just the driver's side you have to take all the way out. Then once you get it out enough, there's another plug right there. Just push that clip and pull it off. Before you undo the 10 millimeter bolts, unplug that top rectangle plug and unplug the coil from the distributor. So here's the old coil and the new coil. They look identical. So it's held on with Phillips screws. I suggest uh, using an impact drill. That way you don't strip them or um, you're going to want to push down and have a nice sturdy grip on them screws with a good screwdriver. You can take off this black cover, get all the nasty gunk out of it, wipe down the igniter. Um, for us, the igniter could be the problem. Um, we don't know. Uh, so we started with the coil, and if it still has a problem, then we'll order a new igniter. All right, so it's all back together. The Phillips heads are tight, so now I'm just going to put this sucker back in. So we're going to put this in, first thing you want to do is plug in the coil wire, make sure it clicks, and now we're going to want to rotate this in here to get it mounted back up like that. I put in different hardware from Ace Hardware. And they have 8 millimeter heads instead of 10 millimeter heads, so it made it a lot easier to get them started and to screw them in. So as you're screwing in um, the passenger side, make sure this little relay or whatever this is, is tabbed on to that bolt. Once everything's bolted in tight, plug that top plug back in. So I put new hardware in here too, from Ace Hardware. They're cheap and it looks a lot nicer. Last thing to do for this install, plug back in the distributor. Now this can only fit one way. It has a key. So don't try to jam it on, it should slide on just fine. And then this will click. I'd like to thank all of you for showing up once again. Uh, 
hopefully this helps you change that coil it was kind of a pain in the ass to be honest um there's not a lot of room to work in there and you don't have a lot of slack to move that fuse box around if the fuse box had a plug it would have made it so much easier to unplug one side of it and flip it over um but hopefully this saved you guys some money at the mechanics and i will see you next time wrench on